Global Education Media presents Education Report on TV, the television program that promotes educational events and activities for parents, students, practitioners in educational fields across categories, government officials, particularly those saddled with the responsibility of managing education and the general public. It also covers programs and activities in the educational sector, such as awards and opening ceremonies, school into house sports, collaborative engagement with NGOs, as well as corporate organizations. Plus, vocational and technical education, institution for people with special education needs, individual contribution towards the growth and development of education while celebrating success in the educational sector at all levels. Please contact 0803-323-2771 or 0812-120-1359. Education Report on TV. Promoting excellence in education on television. In 1992, the annual observance of the International Day for Disabled Persons was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly Resolution 47.3. The observance of the day was aimed at promoting understanding of disability issues and mobilizing support for the dignity, rights, and well-being of persons with disabilities. In Lagos, Nigeria, the day was celebrated with pomp and pageant as the event was graced by the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, the wife of the Commissioner for Information, the Permanent Secretary of Education, members of the body of Permanent Secretaries, directors from the Ministry of Education, amongst other dignitaries. In an address of welcome, the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Mrs. Idiot Adebule, stated that the state government has created vocational centers in all the special schools with caregivers to help the students get prepared vocationally to Towards economic independence. The main objectives of this year's celebration are to promote awareness and mobilize support for critical issues relating to the inclusion of persons living with disabilities, as well as draw attention to the benefits of an inclusive and accessible society for all. Lagos State is committed to making life more meaningful for people with special needs. In addition, the state government created vocational centers in all special schools that are duly equipped with needed instructional material and personnel, that is, the caregiver, to help prepare vocational, vocational towards economic independence. Representing the wife of the governor was the wife of the Commissioner for Information, Mrs. Timitokwe Ayorinde, and in a good way message, she explained that the people living with disabilities are part of the society and as such, members of the public should believe in their abilities to progress and contribute meaningfully to the growth of the society. Persons living with disabilities must be able to fulfill their roles in society and participate on an equal basis before and It is essential that we reassure them that they are part of the society and should believe in their abilities in order to progress and contribute meaningfully to the growth of the society. They must never feel rejected or dejected, but rather see themselves as unique and endowed people. I urge to all parents of children with disabilities not to hide them at home but rather enroll them at various special schools and inclusive units in the state. The International Day for People with Disabilities is the ninth edition celebrated in Lagos State and it had at its team inclusion matters, access and empowerment for people of all abilities. Consequently, the day was spiced up with a match fast, music presentation, choreography and cultural dance all presented by students with disabilities. Well done, children. Children of Russell School 2 for hearing impaired children. All saints inclusive special units. If I could buy you a battle bill in June of Lagos, please let us appreciate them. We also have you from a part of junior grammar school. A junior community measure and primary, measure primary and special education units. In Mushi, you are very much welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please let's appreciate it. Let's appreciate it. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.
Remember, she promised that she will look into some of their requests. Why she was that? Yeah. Let's appreciate our excellency, the deputy governor. Let's appreciate the distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let's appreciate the performance. The guests present also went round to see the goods produced and exhibited by the students. Awards were also presented to individuals who have supported these students. In an interview with Education Report on TV, the Deputy Governor stated that the present administration is ready to make life meaningful for people with disabilities, especially the students. Creation of more inclusive school, creation of more centers for them, availability of tools for them to be able to work and play with is essential. It, we recognize that fact. But you know, like we, we just came in as a government. It's been is a continuous one really. But we've seen papers have been presented to us. And for us to be able to do a thorough job, we need to not only analyze it, but again to look at the cost implication of all of this. And thereafter government can come up with something that of course will be something meaningful and both the teachers and the students will be happier for it. People with uh, special needs, we should not like, neglect them. And the parents of children with a disability should bring them out for early intervention rather than keeping them at home or abandon them. You will see that in every disability there is disability, that the children on their own part, they are trying. We just make sure we try to give back for all that society has given to us and hence why we receive this award. With the reassurance given to people with disabilities by the Lagos State Government, it is believed that all the barriers which have been confronting them in time past will be dealt with, hence ensuring that their rights to equal participation in public life is upheld. <laughs>